We now take you to Mutanda Waterfalls, located 35 kilometers south of Solwezi. The falls is an attractive tourism destination which has three vintage points perfect for viewing. However, infrastructure at the falls is begging for attention. Mushota Mpundu visited the area and brought us this report. The bad state of the road is killing this place and has taken away all its beauty and glendor. If only the road could be worked on, Mutanda Waterfalls would retain its past glory. Once upon a time this was a place to be at and loads of local and foreign tourists used to trek down here. But that was then, a time when the road was passable. Today, the area is deserted and is an air of being disused about it. This unique waterfall that lies about 35 kilometers outside Solozi is now desolate. It is distressing to see this natural wonder neglected to a sorry site. This heritage site is not as imposing as most waterfalls. It is its simplicity that stands it out. As you get closer, a roaring sound will come to you. And before you see it, you would think the water is dropping from a very high point. But Mutanda is unlike many a water force because it gets its attraction from the force of the water as it goes down over the rapids. It is imitable or distinctive because of its three vintage viewpoints which enable a viewer to come up close. But sadly, the road that leads here has spoiled everything. And the current state of the infrastructure is not helping. The chale that once stood proud and attractive are falling apart and so are some of the walkways which took you closer to the falls. As for the road, not even the Toyota Rand Cruiser is good enough here. The road from the junction to here, which is 700 meters, is in a very bad uh, status. Um, I'm sure you even saw it the time we were coming here. So the road needs to be worked on so that uh, people can be able to uh, visit this place without, with less problems. Everyone here talks of how things were once upon a time. We have the facilities like for the lodging. We have the lodge here uh, that has nine rooms, yes, and the rooms are all affordable. What is required is just to maybe upgrade the standard, yes of both the restaurant and the, uh, the rooms. It is a conducive living environment for any outdoor recreation. Yes, very safe. Mutanda is unique because it is a three successive waterfalls that has a distinctive, distinctive stepped formation. Yes, it has three layers if you may look at it closely which is different from these other falls. But just down this river, another place has risen. Goji's Grill and Bar is a private enterprise which shows a visitor how things ought to be. So this is a place that attracts most of the people here. Goji's has well been crafted to suit into the surroundings and provides a spectacular view, especially as the sun goes down. This view of the sun coming to rest is simply gorgeous and, coupled with the placement of this lodge, the result is stunning. What has been achieved here at Gorges is a rare accomplishment of man and nature working together for a common goal. During my visit to Gorges, I noticed a bridge made of wood. It, it can only take a strong and determined heart to cross Mutanda River from this point. This is the man behind the construction of this bridge. Across there is a school. Secondary school, there's the church, there's the clinic, also the, the basic school. So that's why I made this so that you cross to go to the church, you go to the clinic, so the boys and the girls go to the secondary school. The National Heritage Commission knows what needs to be done to rekindle some of these sites. There is a lot of potential for, uh, for tourism. You have seen that towns like Livingston have grown as a result of uh, uh, tourism. And so if uh, here also, working together with provincial administration, we can put our heads together, bring in private uh, 
investment in our sites, then tourism can begin to boom in northwestern uh, province. This is the nearest waterfall to Solwezi. It has uh, three cascades uh, that you see as the water is cascading down into the, into the river. It's also a very, very popular uh, site, especially over the weekend. You have a number of people coming from Solwezi going to uh, the site. Also a number of people coming from Lumwana Mine and Kalumbila uh, visiting the site. So we are hoping that uh, by the time we have the expo, we will have done quite a lot to try and uh, market these uh, sites, open them up to the, uh, to the public. And I want to use this uh, platform to actually appeal to the uh, public that heritage sites are open for investment, that people should feel very free. Wherever you have seen potential for development, for the growth of tourism. Please be feel free to approach our office here in Solwezi or even in Lusaka, Livingstone, Kasama, where we have regional offices. Please feel free, let the public feel free and approach these offices so that together we can see how we can develop the tourism potential of this country. Mutanda is a memorable site which has managed to capture the veracity of many a water force in Mechua. Mshotampundu, ZNBC News, in Solwezi, in Northwestern Province. This is all we could package for you on this edition of Newsline, a news and current affairs program from the Kito Studios. On behalf of the entire production team, it's bye-bye and continue watching ZMBC, your public broadcaster.